Hello my dear friend, I'm David Cortez and this is my website www.david-cortez.com As you can see, on my website you can find a lot of information about software engineering, web development, math tutoring, physics, chemistry and so on. But now I want to explain how to code a simple but important C program. So this program asks the user to write three numbers and calculate uh, the maximum. So as you can see, here you can find uh, the code for, uh, for solving this problem. So now we will do it step by step using uh, uh, CodeBlocks. CodeBlocks is an open source and cross platform IDE. So we create a new project. We call uh, this project, uh, it's a C program, we call this project uh, Max of three numbers the math of three numbers we click next finish ok so we need to write on this file main.c So, hashtag include stdio.h because it is the standard library about input output. Hashtag include stdlib.h, the standard library. And we can write so the main function. So, we write float number one. Number one is the first variable, number two, the second variable, number three, semicolon. So we have written the variables that we need. So with a zero, we write instead exit success. Okay, so print f between parentheses we write between quotation marks number one number one equals semicolon at the end connect so we uh, so the program read that number that we have written as because we have declared this variable as a float so the ampersand is important because it is a scalar. So because the scanf uses the address of the variable. So printf we write inside parentheses and sign quotation marks number two equals semicolon at the end. Scanf percent f so ampersand number two print f between parentheses between quotation mark number three equals semicolon at the end can f percent f and percent number three semicolon at the end so if number if number one is greater than number two so we write if uh, 
number one is greater than number three. Print us backslash n between parentheses and between position marks. Backslash n percent f because we need to write a float. is the maximum number full stop backslash comma number one else If number two is greater than number three, we have another situation, so we write them. So if the number 2 is greater than number 3 we write print f between parentheses between quotation marks backslash n percent f is the maximum number Stop backslash n, comma, number two. Else. So it is an if else, uh, it is an if inside an else. So it is nested. Print F between parentheses between quotation marks. Backslash N percent F is the maximum number. Full stop backslash N. Comma number three. So we need to write here another. Uh, We need to write here that uh, on the first if, so if else inside the first if, so else print f So backslash percent f is the maximum number okay number three comma number three semicolon and we need to write here another else 
So we have covered all the situations. Okay, so. Write the first number, the second number, the third number. If number one is greater than number two, there is another if. If number one is greater than number three, so the maximum number is number one. Else, the maximum number is number three because number one is greater than number two. If number one is greater than number three, number one is the maximum else number three is the maximum else this else refers to this if if number two is greater than number three so if it's not true that number one is greater than number three else number two is greater than number uh, number three so number one is not greater than number three so if number two is greater than number three, number one, number two is the maximum. Else, the maximum is number three. So let's try this program. We write retard here. Cancel this. So we try the bug in the bug mode. If I'm okay, we need to write here number two this way. Write here a semicolon. Okay, so we write number one four point three, number two one point two, number three seven point eight. Seven point eight is the maximum number. Okay, let's try another. Uh, Another example on release mode. So we run. Okay, number one. We can use also negative numbers. Minus 3.2, minus 5, minus 5, um, plus 8.1. So 8.1 is the maximum number. So we have. Uh, Coded this program in C language to so a program that uh, asks the user to write three numbers and it calculates the maximum of, of these three numbers. So I want to remember to visit my website www.david-cortez.com and on my website you can find a lot of interesting things about software engineering, web development, math tutoring, physics, chemistry, and so on. You can play different games that uh, are written in JavaScript. 
So as you can see, you can play the fantastic game of chess. But I want to remember you, dear friend, your donation is important. Help me update this website and join this uh, community. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.